Meow. Hey babes, in this video I'm going to be doing my second ever Adore Delano Drag Race look. This is her entrance look from RuVo's Drag Race All Star Season 2. I'm actually really glad that Adore is in this season and I'm kind of also really scared for her because of all the rumours that's been floating around. I fear for her. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair but I'm clearly eating it and oh, I'm actually such a fool. Um, yeah, I'm so scared for Adore this season, but I wanted to do her entrance look for you guys because my first Adore Delano look went down very well. It got like 60,000 views, so let's hope that this one gets as much or more love than the first one. The first thing that I'm going to do is pop in my blue contacts. These are my innocent white contacts from Desio. Very, very similar to the ones that Adore likes to wear. And for my eyebrows, I'm just covering half of my eyebrow because Adore's brows are covered. Oh no, 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 actually, Adore shaves them. Adore's eyebrows are half shaven and she just draws them on when she's in drag. I'm doing a few layers of this so that we get full coverage. After that, I'm just going to get a powder puff and some loose powder just to set that so that we can draw our eyebrows fierce. Now for the base of the face, I'm just going to be using my Nivea Aftershave Balm and you know, just very, very standard, just applied that all over the face. I love this product so, so much before we apply all the beat that is gonna go on the face, you know, fanning myself, feeling myself, and then I'm going to be using my Kiko Unlimited Foundation in 120. And I'm not going super heavy with the base, you know. I am just using a liquid foundation. Because Adore's foundation and B is very blended. It's very, very um, nicely buffed into the skin rather than that severe base drag look, which you see on a lot of drag queens. I wanted it to be very soft. And to highlight the face, I'm going to be using my Vichy Double Blend in Opal and applying that to the very, very necessary places like the center of the face, very drag. But again, I am going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just blending that in really super well. And I'm actually using a Primark Beauty Blender for this, which y'all are going to say a ratchet, but honestly, this Beauty Blender from Primark actually bangs. It expands. It's so soft, it's as soft as the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques Miracle Confection Sponge. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I'm actually not even lying to you. I'm telling the truth, guys. I'm telling the truth. Oh, now she's blended. Pop, 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 booty, pop, 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 booty, pop. Now I'm going to be using my loose powder from Natural Collection and just setting my face using a duo fiber brush and just buffing that out. I'm not going to be using powder puffs, you know, to really beat the face. I'm just using a brush very lightly. Ta-da! And then after doing that, I'm going to draw my eyebrows fierce with some dark brown mixed in with some black dip brow pomade from Ella Masca and also Freedom. Adore's brows are very blended at the front, so keep that looking natural at the front. And then the rest of the eyebrow is very drama filled, it's very severe, and it's very kind of straight and out. And to clean up the brow, I'm just going to be using a little bit of my Ride or Die, my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 to really clean up the eyebrow. Now, the main star of the show is my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Morocco. It's honestly such a good eyeshadow and you want to apply that to the lower, to the crease, and also to the inner crease, near the nose, and also kind of blend that towards the highest point of your cheek a little bit because it's very, very smoked out. It's very grungy, you know? I feel very, very sorry for Adore for the first episode. If you haven't watched it, then don't listen to this part. But I felt she was being bullied a little bit. Her talent was good. Her, ta his, her singing was really good. And all that they commented on was her look. I'm very, very fearful for her for this competition because I feel like her emotions will get the best of her, which should not be the case because I know she did well in season 6 and she's got full capability on doing really, really well this season. 
And I just don't want her emotions to be a hindrance for this competition, you know, because she is an amazing queen. I'm just really worried and I hope that the rumours aren't true. What I've been reading online, I just hope the rumours aren't true. After that, I'm just going to be using my red-orange eyeshadow from Sarah Hill and blending that as well to add a lot of dimension. I need a lot of dimension in my life and to warm it up even more and to add a brown, I'm just going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear into the crease and also the lower. You know, we want everything to transition out and smoke everything out. For the crease and also the main part of the lid, I'm just going to be sweeping the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Americano so that it diffuses out from the darkness into the orange. Guys, who else is loving Adore's new album? I'm really enjoying it. I've only started listening to it, but I really love Take Me There. The music video is also really good as well, but it's been on replay. The song is on replay, I'm telling you. Y'all gonna have to let me know which songs from the album you've been listening to because I need to, I need to get up in this gig, you know? For my waterline to keep the grungy look and the grungy feel, I'm applying Ella Masca eyeliner in black. And this is not really a main part of the look, I just need a base for the eyelashes. I'm gonna be using a little bit of MUA matte black eyeliner. And now for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Gifted Mascara because Adore is gifted and talented. So, what am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm going to be using my Backstage Lashes in Vegas and nothing too dramatic, just a very light lash. Now, for my contour, I'm going to be using my PS Contour Kit and this I'm applying this quite lightly to be honest because a door likes to be very blended as I said before, nothing too severe, nothing too drag. It's very blended and it's very well, well placed as well. And I'm gonna contour the heck out of my nose because a door's nose is much skinnier than mine. I'm going to add on the beauty mark on the left side of my face and for blusher I'm going to be using a peachy orangey blush from Ella Masca to tie in with the eyes. For my lips I'm going to be using this red lip liner from Essence and Adore's lips are huge, huge as a boy and huge as a drag queen. Her lips are beautiful and I'm drawing them very rounded and very adore and adore loves a red lip so you got it, you just got it. For my liquid lipstick I'm going to be using my Primark PS Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is actually a really good product, just don't apply too much of it. Just apply a really thin layer and you'll be good, you'll be, you'll be all good, you know. If you apply too much it will be cakey and it will feel really dry on the lips, I can't lie. Don't apply too much guys. So guys, this is the final look. I'm loving Adore's new album. I love Take Me There and from her old album, I really love Hello, I Love You. It's been on replay on my Spotify, I can't even lie. And as I said before, I'm a really big fan of Adore and I hope she does well in All Stars. Fingers crossed. I love you guys so, so much. Please subscribe for more drag looks and that's it, you guys. Bye.